or the Pex Impeller, next to some diagrams from Walter Russell from 1926. Now we're going to take a look at the difference in efficiency of a propeller and impeller. Take a look at this video. For something to exist, it must be moving. So every single thing in this universe is moving. The interesting thing is that all of that movement in nature has a particular spiraling path. Nature never ever moves in a straight line. No such thing. So that is nature's streamlining principle. Got to have a side note. Nothing ever travels in a straight line. All things come from a rotating frame of reference. And as Walter Russell put it, all direction is curved and all motion is spiral. When I froze the whirlpool that you see in your bathtub, you pull the plug out, there's the whirlpool. If you freeze that whirlpool, it's exactly the same geometry as a hurricane or a tornado or any other spiral, a cochlea of your ear. This shape is archetypal in nature. And so when I froze this, I was then able to rotate it and create because I had a frozen whirlpool, I was able to create a whirlpool. So one of the first things that I used it on, uh, particularly in America, there are great big holding tanks. Well, that water gets stagnant. The municipalities that manage that water have to put chlorine and, and chloramines into the water. The problem is better solved by mixing that water. Generally throughout the world, if you want to mix water, it's very expensive. I put one of these frozen whirlpools in the bottom of one of these tanks six inches high, four inches wide, and I rotated it with a couple of hundred watts of power, a couple of light bulbs of power, and I found it was able to mix an entire tank of water, 10 million gallons, which from an engineering point of view is not even conceivably possible. So from there, I started adapting these shapes into fans. Fans use 18% of the world's electrical energy. They're not terribly efficient. We found time and time again, we could take the best fan in the world and reduce its energy by as much as 30%. So pretty much everything in an industrial world can be improved by taking these shapes from nature and reconfiguring what engineers build today. More order, more power. Can always have more order. Can always refine things more. Always have more geometry, more nanoscopic textures. Can always have things working together to achieve a synergistic outcome.